first time in Seoul or, or in, uh, in Daejeon or in any, any, any part of the, the mainland of Korea, and it's my first time visiting the research institutes here. Yeah, I feel pretty well at home. I mean, if anything, Korea is a bit, I, to, to my surprise, Korea is a bit more like the United States than Japan. Is. I think that um, the, kinds of, the kinds of problems that people think about even in research and the, um, the, the way in which people interact with each other on, on the street, um, the, uh, the um, I mean, just so, so simple, very super, superficial facts. The, people, the, the fact that most people drive everywhere. Right. This is this is true in the U.S. and it's true in Korea, but it's certainly not true in Japan. Um, the I think the, the, the way in which the store certainly you see a lot of American brands in the stores, but it's not just that the, the, the kinds of products that are sold in the stores seem very slightly more American than than, than Japan would be. And I'm not I mean still still not American, but you know, still still very different, but but uh, um, not as foreign to me as Japan is in a way. Actually, I was surprised overall at, at how similar the research, similar the approach to research here is to the approach to research in the United States. So, um, so my friend Chang Yu at, at Christ, for example, is, has been working on, has been has moved a lot of his research in the direction of uh, theoretical machine learning in the same way that that I have been recently. But then, um, people who attend the same conferences that I usually attend, Interspeech and ICAST, include, for example, uh, Kang Hong at, 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 at Yonsei and. And Nam Soo Kim at, at Seoul National University, who are working on speech recognition in noise and um, voice activity detection uh, and better better acoustic models. Uh, a, a lot of the same technologies are, are, are being used here, just in, in different ways. It's it's well known around the world. It's certainly well known to, to people who do technology in the United States that Korea has the highest penetration of smartphones uh, in the world and the highest penetration of broadband internet and. and uh, the highest um, use of online, of, of online large-scale uh, social gaming, and so, and so on. And um, the the companies in Korea have been have, a, have apparently been very successfully um, encouraging the use of technology in Korea to make life better, and have been leveraging the use of that technology to develop uh, to develop smartphone devices and devices that are now sold around the world. I was really surprised by um, how interested the how interested Korean companies are in multilingual speech recognition, for example, in making um, making speech and language user interface technology and interactive technology that works um, that works in, in every language, that works in, in 20 languages or 50 languages or all the languages of Africa and Asia. Right. And I, I hadn't expected that because um, I thought of Korea as being a place where people work on the Korean language, but that's not the case at all. LG and Samsung devices, for example, are sold around the world, right. and so they are very much interested in that. Problems like uh, learning automatic speech recognizers in, in a wide variety of languages, or learning automatic speech recognizers in uh, multiple dialects of the same language, or um, or signal processing applications like, for example, com combining the audio and the video streams from a, from an audiovisual uh, microphone camera array in order to improve the accuracy of ASR in very noisy environments like in a moving you know, automobile, or like like this, yeah, like in a in, like in a, re in a restaurant with the window open, for example, yeah, yeah. I was really impressed with the kinds of problems that they're thinking about, actually. It's, it's interesting to see this, um, to see sort of this, this um, multi-pronged strategy for technology development where, where people are, there's a, there's, a lot that I, there's a lot that I can't see going into because there's a tremendous amount of security at both companies, as there would be with any Silicon Valley, Valley company, for example, or any other company that's in a, a high technology center. But, um, but I, I had the impression that um, that there's no uh, there's no there's no try this and if it fails the company fails. That the, instead there's there's very much a strategy of of, um, of developing the best the best possible devices in, in several different directions in order so that the one that, that is the most successful can be taken to market and, and the others can be the, the, the seeds for for future technologies. So proceeding in parallel, multiple potential. Yes. Yeah, but with a very, but with a very high degree of competitiveness and precision in, in each of those directions. Competitiveness within the organization. I didn't see that so much as competitiveness between the organizations. Right, right. 
So you went from one to the other in the same I, day. Yes, right. <laughs> I went from Samsung in the morning to LG Electronics. That was a problem. <laughs> um, they did. They were they, they were very kind about it, but it was obvious <laughs> that they're strong competitors. Yes, I can imagine. Yeah. Well, I, I'm very glad to have you here in Korea, and uh, we look forward to seeing you here again soon. Thank you. Thank you. It's been very nice to be here.